Hey friend, Nick here, and I wanna give you some tips on how to make your videos look better. I'm gonna cover some of my pet peeves and things I see a lot of people do, and it's really making your videos look amateur, and they could look a whole lot better by just making a few simple adjustments. So stick around so you don't miss any of my tips. Rule number one is stick to the rule of thirds as much as you can. So imagine there's a tic-tac-toe board on your screen. You wanna try to keep your eyes on the top third, and then you wanna try to keep your positioning either on one of the thirds or between the thirds. You don't wanna be outside the thirds. There's a lot of theory about this, and to be honest, a lot of it, like, it doesn't matter. We're not film students, who cares? I wanna give you some practical info on this. The main thing being, it just looks visually better when you're on a third or somewhere between them. That's, it's as simple as that. What I do to try to pick where I'm gonna position myself in a shot is I look at what's in the background, and if there's a noticeable gap or something where it just makes sense for me to be, I'm gonna position myself there. So in this case, behind me, I have this, uh, I have this gray thing on the wall, and there's nothing here behind me. So it just makes sense that I will stand, that I'll put myself on this side and be almost on a third. I'm not quite on the third, but I'm close, right? Because there's nothing in this spot, so there's something here, and it keeps the shot interesting. It would feel really weird and lopsided if I position myself over here. Now there's a lot of stuff on this side of the, the frame and there's nothing really over here on this frame, this side of the frame, and it just looks weird, right? Less weird, more weird. I wanna challenge you to really look at your frame. Next time you make a video, don't just throw up a camera wherever and just start shooting. Really analyze the background and look at what do I have on the wall? What do I have maybe on a table or on a desk or something? And put some thought into where you position yourself and maybe clear some space. I actually have uh, what's called a base trap in, in the corner. It's another uh, like dark colored thing that would have been right here where my head is. And instead of just rolling with that, because it just, it looked kind of weird. There wasn't enough space to put me between them and it just kind of looked I just didn't like how it looked or felt in the frame. So I just took it off the wall. And yeah, I'll probably put them back up later because you know I need them for processing audio, but I don't need them in the shot right now and it just looks better without them on the wall. So do a little work beforehand, prep your space, make sure it looks good and make sure you're positioned on a third or in between the thirds, okay? It's okay to be centered. A lot of people really wanna be centered and it's okay, I'm, I'm not against center unless if you center yourself and then there's a gap and then nothing, like if it wasn't for this door right here, cause it's, there's something in the background, I probably would have positioned myself a little bit more on that side just to make it feel more in balance. It doesn't have to be symmetrical, it just needs to feel balanced. But because that's there and it's just, it breaks up the background, I wasn't as concerned. I'm not quite um, centered, but I'm not quite on a third. I'm just kind of somewhere in the middle. So. It's not a science, it doesn't have to be exact. And sometimes you might break the rule and that's okay, but make sure you break it knowing what the rule is and break, break it for a reason. But in the end, just play with it. Try different things, maybe record a little, a little snippet of you in different places, watch it back on a computer or like a big, bigger screen and just see the, just try to have an open mind and see how it makes you feel when you watch it. And you'll start to notice little things about where you position yourself what you like and what you don't like. So here's my next pet peeve, headroom, okay? There's way too much space in this shot right now. I'm wasting all this space and it just looks weird, <laughs> all right? It just looks weird. I've seen so many videos and a lot of them are not video people. I'll give them that, but it's just, uh, it's hard to watch because it's just, look at all this extra space, all this space in the frame that's just wasted, right? Again, you want your eye to be on the top third, not the lower third, right? Here's going too far, right? It's okay to chop your head off. It's not okay that there's just, there's my eyes are right at like the top of the frame. Okay, that's way too low. All right, that's better. So now there's there's a little bit of headroom, but my eyes are on that third. It just feel, I'm filling up more of the frame. There's less of this wasted, wasted space. That leads me into my next pet peeve, and that is wasting space and being, not filling up the frame. Fill up as much of the frame as you can. And what I mean by that is 
position yourself as close as you can to the camera and leave as much space behind yourself as possible so that you take up more of the frame of the shot. So I'm gonna zoom this out to show you the opposite and what I see a lot of people do. So look at this, there's all this extra space and like this is not relevant to my video. This is, you know, nice little background stuff, some cameras and stuff, but I'm, waste, I'm just wasting so much space. And on, on the screen, I'm gonna look so small, right? We want to fill up as much of the screen as we can without being just, <laughs> like you don't want it to just be your face. <laughs> that would be creepy. But just fill up as much as it looks natural, fill up the frame. To me, this, this feels okay. There's, there's still some background stuff. I'm filling up enough of the frame. I'm close enough to the video that I don't feel like I'm really far away. You don't wanna feel so far away. So fill up the frame. All right, the next tip that'll make your videos look way better is giving yourself depth and distance from your background. When you're flat up against a wall, it feels like so claustrophobic. It just, it looks bad. I don't wanna watch the video. It's not interesting. There's no depth, there's no interest. It's just bleh. Give yourself depth. What I do is I set the camera as far back as I can from the background and then I put myself as close to the camera as I can to where I'm filling up the frame, I like the shot, I'm on the third that I wanna be, I've got everything where I like it. I'll play with it a, a little bit. Sometimes it depends on how big your room is. If, if you have a lot more space, then you, obviously you're not gonna set up like 100 feet <laughs> from your background, but you wanna play with it and just make sure that there's some depth between your background, whatever it is, if it's a wall, if there's a desk, a table, whatever it is behind you, just make sure that there's some space, some depth, and it adds so much interest to your shot. Now, you don't wanna have a bunch of crap in the background, so make sure that you declutter, maybe move some things, maybe add some things. You can add a plant or a, a painting on the wall. If there's like a big blank spot, you can always put something on the wall. But as much as possible, add depth to your shot, and it makes your video just look much more interesting and much more professional. All right, so I guarantee if you stick to the rule of thirds, you give yourself plenty of headroom, you fill up the frame, and give yourself distance and depth in your shot, your videos are gonna look a ton better. Just do those four things, I promise you, it's gonna look better. Now you notice none of this required gear. I didn't talk about get a better camera, I didn't talk about getting a better lens. Now those things certainly can help, but they're not required. Even if you're shooting with your phone, you can do all of these things. It, it doesn't matter what gear you use, you do these things and it'll make your video look better. You're gonna like the way you look. I guarantee it. Well, if making videos is something you're into and you wanna get into this whole content creation game, you wanna create an online business, passive income, all of those things, I have a blueprint that I created that lays out exactly what goes into this whole process so that you can start creating a lead generation system that helps you sell whatever it is that you sell. So it doesn't matter if you're a local service business or you have an online business, or maybe you do retail, or whatever it is that you sell, it doesn't matter. You can use video to grow your business, to create passive income, and I wanna teach you how to do that. So head over to glacierrockmedia.com forward slash blueprint and get your copy today. And also include a link in the description, you can just click it, take you right there. Well, I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe and click the little notification bell so it'll let you know every time I post a new video. And if you know anyone who would benefit from this information, please share with them. I'd love to help as many people as I can make better videos. All right, see you next time. Oh, it bugs me to death. Like, it looks horrible. Please stop doing this. It's kind of harsh, huh? Sometimes it's an artistic decision to blah, 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 blah. Something is a Whoa, whoa, losing the mic. But I'll just slouch. <laughs> Blah. You want that again? Blah. <laughs> All right, see you next. Bah. You're gonna like the way you look. I guarantee it. <laughs>